friends, welcome back to Marisa Scuscina Italiana. I took a little small vacation, a couple months. I've been keeping you updated on Facebook on some of my other wonderful recipes. And today we're going to be making a really, really nice one. Parmigiano cups or little discs. And they're fabulous when you have a wine and cheese party or just a get together. Uh, everybody loves them. And they're gluten free, by the way. All right, and the basic ingredient is our parmigiano now i've gone ahead and grated some parmigiano under here okay but uh, right here is what what the basic part of the recipe is that's it okay you do need a sheet with lined with parchment paper or i have a small ovenette i'm using today but you can go ahead and use your silk mat and put that in the oven it works really good and then you'll need your cupcake pan, which will be your little cups. And about that's about the size that you can put something in. And I will show you what we're going to be putting in. You can also use the bottom of a glass. These work really good. Or, you know, straight one as long as this one's going to have a little bit of a flute, so it's kind of cute. And if we double our dosage when we're putting it into the a pan, we can also get a really nice cup form. Okay, again, the next thing that you kind of probably need just for spices on your uh, little disc that'll be coming out is some fresh oregano, which makes a great, great um, seasoning if you're going to be using like a little bit of a, of a sauce that you made extra for dipping it in. Uh, or, or you could use some sesame seeds, you can use pine nuts, which I do not have right now. You could use... Um, chai seeds you you can use some pepper and make them a little bit peppier they're really nice for uh the the drinking the the wine comes out really flavorful when you have a little bit of cheese and pepper and then also paprika just to make them a little bit red you need a spoon and a spatula to take off your uh your form you also kind of could go ahead and use a three inch round form or a two inch this keeps it nice and formed it, rather than having all the edges all out and then when you pick them up it, it's just kind of messy uh, I have that and I have a triangle and we'll be trying out a couple of those so here's your cheese and this is how I like you to Kind of get it ready. Again, about two cups will yield about uh, 14 uh, discs and probably a little less, maybe eight cups, okay? And you do want to use that side of your grater. Don't buy the processed one in the bags. It just won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grate my two cups, okay? And we'll proceed with that. All right, so your cheese is now grated. It's right here, nice and loosely. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our cheese, kind of measure it, make sure you get about a teaspoon. One, two, these could go about two, and then the triangle also. And all this is gonna do is keep them even, okay? So then you want to get in there. You do want to press down on these, even if you're going to make the free form when we make the cups. Right now, we're going to make these. Okay, so, so as you see from above here, we're showing you how we put in the two tablespoons inside. Make sure you press it down and get around evenly around the edges so that when you lift up your form, um, it'll come up. So I just thought I'd show you from an above view what it looks like um, and give you an easier look at it. And remember your spices, put them on at the end. I chose the oregano, the sesame, and the uh, flex, flag, flag seed. But uh, you can choose uh, pretty much any of your toppings. We'll, we'll show you Okay, I want to get to that corner there. Now, the trick is, let me 
make sure you put that in. When you lift them up very carefully, move to the next one. Again, make sure you're down here. I don't know if this is going to come out triangly, but it should. Oh, we'll take a look at it. There you go. Try not to get them out. And now let's say this one here, I want to put some chai seeds on it. I like the crunchiness of that. The pine nuts are really, really good with that. And then maybe some oregano on this triangle one. Okay. And we're going to proceed like this, and we'll be back to show you this. Uh, make sure you put them at least two inches apart. So I'm only going to get four on here. Okay. And we'll proceed uh, to show you how we're, then we're going to put these in the oven. All right, so here you see them boil, bubbling away. Uh, it's been about three minutes, so now it's on the, you know, pretty much four minute mark. You're going to want to take these out now. So now we took them out, okay, and I like to take the parchment paper very carefully, move your pan, and put them onto the surface. I'm lucky I have the marble surface, so what happens is it cools it down pretty fast. Triangles, well, they came out okay. And guess what? You can always cut them up, make them into the triangle if you like. I think the round ones would be a little easier for you to do. But just to show you that you can do them, okay? And you do want to leave these on a wire rack, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, we kind of have triangle. All right, the round ones, nice. Some of them have pepper on them. Okay, and kind of make sure that they've cooled down because you don't want them to lose that form. And so you proceed to like this. We're going to proceed to make maybe a few more. And that already took a good cup of product. So there you go. And Here we'll be back. First one. And nothing showing you the other one. All okay. right. So we have made our discs. Okay. And you can continue like that. This is about one cup and it's made six discs. Okay. About three inches wide. So you never know how much you need but I go by the two cups. I would even go by, by maybe three cups of Parmigiano, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and make sure you leave your spacing. These are just gonna be the cups. So I'm gonna start with one and I'm gonna kinda go down rather than put them one next to each other because of the shifting that they, they melt. Okay, so right now I've added one tablespoon and I'm going to go ahead and place another one on top. And like I said, see, this is one cup, it gives me four. Put a little bit more here. And you can make your discs like this, eh? you don't need to form them. I've only seen other uh, YouTubers do that, kind of tried it out and I kind of liked it. Okay, so now you have your mound. Now you don't leave them like this. Go ahead, help them out a little bit. And thus is why I've put them kind of a little bit further down from each other because we have to spread them so that they give you that lacy effect. Okay. How thin? Kind of want to and not want to see the bottom of your pan or your silk pad or your parchment paper as I'm doing right now. Okay. The way you shape them is the way they're going to come out. And you want to make them because they're going to go over the cupcake. I think your cupcake would be your 100% best choice to make your cups. So if you were going to make these with this cup here, you're going to want to make four tablespoons. All right, but we're not going to use that today. And we're just going to make the normal cupcake one. All right, let me put these in the oven and we'll show you how you form them as soon as they're ready. All 
Alrighty, so here we are. These, you want them, lift these up as much as you can. Remember, these are going to get hard, so you want to put that right over. This is delicate. Now you got to move. You got to move fast on here. Okay. Sorry if my hand's in the front, but I'm trying to hold the paper at the same time. And here you go. See how that is? Beautiful. Okay. Time limit here. Let's get this other one on here. There you go. Oh, these are going to be so pretty, these little cups. Wait till you see the surprise I got the filling for them. You can fill these with just about anything, but mine is a little surprise. You can fill them with the olives. You can fill them with, with everything. Now we're going to leave these here so they get uh, really nice and hard, and then we can remove them, maybe a minute or so. Okay, here they are from now the oven. We took them out. Remember, they were very, they're very delicate. They, they don't get as crisp as these get crisp. That's why these are called uh, Parmigiano crisps. And these are the cups. They will be in less time. So you really, really, really have to let these cool down a lot, okay? Because in order to pull them off like this, this has to be cold. I put mine in the fridge for a few minutes and then I kind of literally uplift it a little bit. Maybe it's better not to put them too close like to there, leave them a little bit out, okay? And that's how they came out, which are really pretty. I guess it's better to leave them a little bit more angled. But they still came out very delicate. They're really soft, okay? And right now, we'll proceed to fill them. All right, friends, so here we are. Made a few little decorations here by using a little tomato, part of my hard-boiled egg, okay, and a piece of uh, basil. And today I made my next coming up recipe, which is the potato salad that we make, our traditional potato salad. We have been making this for phew, years and right now the person behind that camera already got to it. She said, I need this recipe. I said, yes, I will, dear. So I just today kind of added a few peas. Normally I don't, but you can see how pretty this is and how colorful, you know, you have your little um, you have your little uh, olives. That's really cute. And so when you serve this as a little antipastino, it's really cute. You can fill it. You can leave them like this. I could fill it with a little bit of arugula with, uh, you know, tomatoes. Get that all nice. But here you go. So as you can see, we have our... We have our cups, which are really cute. And we have our little crisps. Again, they're very easy to make. Your recipe calls for two cups, I'd say two to three cups of Parmigiano. It yields, as I told you about, it'll yield about uh, four, 10 of the crisps. Decide what, what size you're gonna make them. And your cups, it'll also make about eight good cups from the cupcake standard form. All right, and again, bake them at 350, three to four minutes. Keep an eye on them because they do go really fast, okay? Especially when you're making your Parmigiano cups, you wanna make them under the three minute. Make sure they're just bubbling away. Take it out, place your parchment paper on that countertop, let them just start unbubbling and then start putting them immediately on your shape. Again, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. There's more to come. And don't forget to sign up for Marisa's Cucina Italiana. Please subscribe, like, and uh, share. We'd, I'd appreciate it very much. Again, this is our version of Italian crisps and your filled little cups. 
and enjoy. E ricordati, remember, mangia, mangia.